It may be hard to imagine, but there was a time in this country when it was common to find children as young as the age of five working long hours in grueling jobs. You might think that doesn't happen anymore since the U.S. government restricted underage work nearly a century ago. But all year long, Scripps News has been investigating reports of child labor violations nationwide. Wherever we went, we uncovered troubling new evidence that child labor in America is on the rise. These are all blueberry fields here. At the height of the blueberry season here in North Carolina, the fields are bursting with one of this country's favorite superfoods. We came to the southeast part of the state to try to see who's harvesting them. And what we found was shocking. How many children work on the blueberry farm with you? No. This undocumented mother of two children agreed to talk to us as long as we concealed her family's identity. How old are your kids that work on the, the farm? Mi niño tiene ocho años, el más grande, y mi chiquitito tiene seis, seis y tanto. It's very young. Sí. She showed us a photo on her phone of her eight-year-old son at work, bucket in hand. When school let out for summer, she said, the boy and his younger sister began picking blueberries with her. We could see signs of the black sandy soil on the six-year-old's small feet. The mother explained on the farm she can watch her kids while they help make ends meet. Every bucket of blueberries is worth a few dollars. But she says the days are long, about 10 hours, and the summer heat can be intense. But to see where the problem of underage labor is even worse, we traveled about 1,400 miles west to Grand Island, Nebraska. These are clearly workers arriving for the 11 o'clock start of the graveyard shift. We staked out the main entrance to this meatpacking plant known as JBS Beef to try to get a glimpse of the workers showing up here. A few months earlier, the U.S. Department of Labor did the same thing after receiving a tip from law enforcement. When inspectors went inside, they found more than two dozen underage contract employees, including this miner. One was as young as 13. All worked for a company called PSSI, which contracts with meatpacking companies to clean factories overnight. These federal records we obtained describe teens here suffering injuries from chemical burns, then going to school and falling asleep in class. One 17-year-old quit high school because they were working and tired from cleaning. This 65-year-old man we met works at the Grand Island plant for JBS and agreed to speak to us about what he saw. He asked not to be identified out of concern. He would jeopardize his job by speaking to the media. We learned overnight crews would clean up blood and animal parts on the kill room floor and sanitize heavy equipment. Is the work dangerous? Yo digo que sí, porque ellos trabajan muchos químicos. In all, inspectors found 27 underage workers here in Grand Island and dozens more at 12 other PSSI locations across the nation. Child labor violations like these are up 44 percent in the past year as employers look to children to help fill jobs that adults increasingly don't want. And it's often an open secret in the communities where it happens. We knew. James Callahan has been the priest at St. Mary's Catholic Church in Worthington, Minnesota, for more than 12 years. Just a few miles away, federal investigators found 22 underage kids working graveyard shifts at this meatpacking plant. How long, Father, did you know that there were young people working those jobs in the plant? Oh, since I've been here. I mean, this isn't something new. 12 years? Yeah. I mean, and even before. Did you ever think of calling the police or the Department of Labor or someone over the years to, to stop this? No, because my first concern was for the individuals. It wasn't to make a policy change. It's up to Congress to make those policy changes, but it falls to the U.S. Department of Labor to carry them out. 
people like Michael Lazeri. He's a regional administrator for the wage and hour division at the Labor Department. He led the investigation into PSSI that ended with the company paying $1.5 million in civil penalties. Why did it take the Department of Labor so long to detect child labor at PSSI and to act? For an agency like ours where we have 10 million employers, we can't be everywhere. So. He told us the government has to rely on employers to follow the law and employees to blow the whistle when they see child labor. How do these kids walk by a guard station in a facility so young walking into plants every day. How come no one picked up the phone? I have questions about that. That to me is concerning. Does this case show that the Department of Labor needs to be doing more? We are doing everything we can to amp up our efforts uh, to be able to root out child labor where we know it could be. As those enforcement efforts continue, authorities are finding how widespread underage labor has become in this country. What's your favorite sport? In North Carolina, the eight-year-old boy we met still makes time to just be a kid. His mother says she knows the work takes a heavy toll on both of her children, and she hopes one day they can escape these fields for better lives. Lessons that come from a life of hard work beginning at a tender age.